Hello everyone, welcome to our channel. Today I'll review this OneTex Wi-Fi 1080p semi-rigid, flexible and waterproof wireless endoscope, also known as a bore scope or a snake camera. So let's get started. If you are someone new to our channel, please consider subscribing to our channel as we do regular videos for various smartwatches and smartphones, tech tutorials, and here is where I review some crazy bizarre tech like this one. I have a playlist full of crazy techs. Make sure to check it out and I bet you will not regret it. So I got this wireless endoscope for 30 Canadian dollar from Amazon. This price point may sound skeptical to whether it will work or not, but boy, it works beyond great. And you will see for yourself during this video. This price may vary depending on the seller location and any deals. This is not a sponsored review. It's just my unbiased opinion. If you want to get this one for yourself, make sure to check out the links in the description of this video for awesome deals on it. It came in a nice carry bag like this one. Open it up and you will see the snake camera. Let's keep the snake camera aside and see other goodies. So in the Ziploc bag there is a user manual which shows how to connect and what apps you need to download which we will talk later during this video but you can see the specs right here which says that the Wi-Fi band is 802.11 and the frequency is 2.4 gigahertz. So it will not work for a five gigahertz Wi-Fi connection. Data rate is a whopping 300 megabytes per second. Image sensor is CMOS. Battery life is two to three hour with a DC five volt input. The diameter of the tube is eight millimeter the focal length is about 5 cm. This is important as you need to keep the camera about 5 cm away from the object to have a clear focus. It has an IP68 waterproof rating for the lens and the tube. So if you were to submerge the main unit, you're done. I am sure nobody would do it. The resolution is 1080p with a 2 megapixel camera housed around 6 LED lights to brighten up the area of inspection. The overall length of the tube is 11.5 inches, which I feel is more than sufficient. But if for any reason it isn't, they even have provided a telescopic extender that can extend up to 49.6 inches. So you can snap the tube in the holder and extend it up to the ceiling to get into whatever you want to. They even have provided extra tips for the extender in case if you were to lose any. There is a micro USB charging cable and two additional Velcro straps to keep this long snake connected together. Okay, now let's talk about its attachment. These attachments are basically what it makes a highly functional device. They actually have provided a nice plastic container so you will not lose any of the attachment. There are four attachments and the best part is the attachments are threaded. So it's not like you just snap it on, you actually have to screw it in place on the camera lens. This is an ingenious way to prevent the attachments from falling off especially uh, if you were to pick something heavy with this hook attachment. So this hook attachment can be used to pick up rings or keys fallen into your sink or vent. Very handy for a household usage. There is a magnetic attachment to pick up keys etc. The magnet is quite strong. Let's see if it can lift up this scissor. And it can easily lift it up. Pretty strong. Next is the 90 degree mirror attachment. So basically you can see on the side wall of whatever you're trying to inspect via this attachment, it's pretty cool. And the last is just a metallic cap. If you were to use the camera without any attachment, I would recommend to put this on to avoid damaging the threads on the lens. Now let's talk about the setup very briefly. It's pretty straightforward. You have to download the 
Inscam app available on Android and Apple Store for free. Make sure you search for this particular icon. Once installed, turn the camera on by sliding the switch towards on. Once turned on, you have to go on your Wi-Fi settings where you will find a Wi-Fi network named Inscam. The numbers after the name Inscam may be different in your case, but you just have to get connected to this network. Uh, the password will be listed in the user manual, mostly it's 1234567 now let me explain you a very important thing this camera is a hundred percent wireless camera and this wi-fi name you see is the camera itself so once you get connected you may get a pop-up like this or something that would prompt you to change the wi-fi connection as this is not a data wi-fi connection which means you cannot use internet based services like facebook youtube etc while you're connected to this camera which is one of the drawback. In my opinion, they could have included a wired connection option to solve this issue, but I just won't even complain for the price I paid. Well, once connected, all you have to do is open the app and enjoy. If you encounter any connection issue, make sure there is enough battery power, make sure the Wi-Fi is properly connected, allow the app to access your phone's wireless network and cellular data as well as your phone's album to view and record images uh, as well as pictures. Comment down below if you have any issues and I'll try my best to help you out. The app is pretty intuitive and really easy to use. Once connected, you will directly start seeing the live feed. On the top right, you will see the HD option where you'll get all these following options. Even at the highest setting, I find that the image or the video are not that crisp, which makes sense due to the two megapixel camera. On the right hand side, you will see the panel where you'll find option to start recording. Next to it is uh, the capture an image. Below it is the media gallery where you can access all the recorded images as well as the videos. Keep in mind all the images and videos are locally stored on the phone and you can even select or delete or manage the files right from here. FYI they will also appear on the smartphone's media gallery. Let's go back and under the gallery you will find settings. Here is where you will find language, about and privacy policy. Going back under the settings, you will find the split screen view where you will see a live camera feed on one half and the media gallery in the other half. And lastly, it's the brightness. So you can actually control the LED brightness on the lens right from here, which is very handy. And I find at its brightest point, it will lit up the entire tunnel of your inspection. Okay, now I'll show you some real life scenarios and wrap it up with my final say. So for just 30 Canadian dollars, this is more than worth it. It will be highly useful for professionals like auto mechanics, plumbers, electri electricians, key makers and many more as they can access tight spaces to inspect at the tip of their hand. And I'll say that this is no less than a professional grade equipment. I'll caution you to not insert into any humanly orifice as it's not that sterile. Even if you were to clean it up with a medical grade disinfectant, the ridges and the grooves may still not be that sterile enough. Anyways, for 30 Canadian dollar, I can definitely recommend this to any regular person as it has helped me to get stuff out of my household ducts and even look into sink pipes, vent, ducts, air, air conditioner, car's engine, you name it and it will look into it. The only drawback I found is that it's not a high resolution camera so don't expect super crisp images or videos. Secondly, when you are connected to this camera, you will not be able to use internet. Other than that, it's a solid build quality, durable, waterproof and a 100% bang for your buck endoscope camera.
So that's it. I really hope you found this video helpful. If you did, then please give this video a thumbs up and a sub would be massively appreciated as I'll be posting more crazy texts like this one. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one.